Well, some time ago, Paul Holly was traveling through Michigan, and he stopped at an antique mall. I do the same thing. And anyway, he found three of these posters for sale at the mall. That's all there were. It could have been four. I'm not sure. So he took photos of them, and he posted them on Retro Racine, which is a Racine Facebook uh, historical site. A lot of people said, oh, I remember him, and, uh, you know, that's my grandfather and whatever. So I asked Paul if he can give me more specifics as to what antique mall they were at. I'd like to follow up on it and bring them back to Racine. So he did, and I contacted the uh, antique mall, and they put me uh, to the person who actually was selling these. And he said, oh, by the way, I found uh, quite a few more. And I said, well, great. And I said, I'd like to buy them. Can you make me a, a deal if I buy them all? And he said, yeah, we could work something out. So all he did was just give me free shipping. <laughs> Big deal, you know. So anyway, I, they're all here right now. I don't know too much about them. Uh, this one here, Niall Fuller, was a sheriff, a deputy, I should say. He was trying to be a sheriff, but uh, he was never elected. But um, he was also famous for having his own big band in Racine. And he was playing well into the 70s. As a matter of fact, he played for my parents' wedding, and, uh, wedding back in um, reception back in 1945. So my dad knew him quite well. And he lived to be a ripe old age, I believe, but he was playing for uh, a good part of his life. And I'll turn it over to John, who might be able to give you some more information about a few other posters. Yeah, I don't know. A lot of the names aren't super familiar, but uh, some research would be easy to dig up. I see the Frank for mayor. I mean, if you were running with a name like that and you said, let me be Frank <laughs> with you, how could you fail, right? Um, over here is William Mitchell Lewis of the Mitchell Motor Car Company. Uh, he was actually a candidate for governor. That's probably around 1910, just guessing. Um, Niles Fuller again for sheriff. Let me be prudent with you as well. <laughs> These guys got ready-made political names. Uh, this one's interesting, Sieb. Yeah, John, John Sieb, he was actually a barber. And in the 1890s, 1900s, he had a shop in the Hotel Racine. Uh, didn't know that he got into politics later in life. Though this is 1940. Most of these seem to be from the Depression era, early 40s. But lots of fun. Have to do some digging on those names. Oh, there's Rogan, right? Oh, yes. That's, that's. Adam Rogan, who was a reporter for the Journal Times, uh, mentioned that uh, this was his grandfather. Could be Marino Park was named after Frank Marino. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. As you can see, there's a lot of different uh, uh, jobs here they were trying to get. Assemblymen, of course, uh, district attorney, even mayor, aldermen, county supervisor, uh, it pretty much takes in a, just about all of the elected uh, officials, even sheriff. <laughs> 